no, um, he's a good amateur as well. School, he boxed well, he's strong, he's fit and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, I do what I do best, I adapt. You know, it's one thing I do good at. I, I never had a long amateur career, which uh, I developed that set style. You know, where I'm a boxer, I'm a fighter, you know, um, my style's quite flexible. It's a bit unorthodox, you know, I mean, one of my great strengths is adapting to whatever is in front of me. You know, I've fought Joshua, I've fought Parker, I've fought Zora, Lanius, so many different styles. And the main, f- the main thing that I have is I adapt to my situation. And this is another one where I just adapt and get the job done. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, everyone I fought has either been hurt, knocked down or knocked out, you know, and nothing changes in, on July 22nd, July 20th. I see Oscar is gonna come to fight, he's gonna press the fight, he's gonna but you know, I'm looking to knock him out. And you believe you will become a world champion either this year or early next year? <sighs> I, I, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know man, I don't know, I don't know. If you get the chance. Yeah, if I get the chance then yeah, 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 for one hundred percent, but I don't know, you know, I don't know. Um Well I had a look at him, you know, like like I always do. Um had a look at his amateur pedigree. And um, he beat some some good fighters in, in the amateurs. Um, looked at his uh, professional um, fights, obviously. You know, you, you talk about he's dangerous, and he is dangerous. And, the, and the, this fight is uh, it's a, a, a TV fight because of the clash of styles. But because Dillian White is is getting more articulate in his uh, fighting aspect. He's um, he's going to make a difficult, you know, a, a difficult looking task. He's going to make him shine. He's going to make him shine. Oscar Rivas is going to make Dillian White shine. And I feel, um, you know, we know how to handle Oscar Rivas for sure. Oscar fought in the amateur. He went in the Olympic game. He beat Kubrat Pulev. Um, and uh, he lost a close decision against uh, Roberto Camaleri, who got the gold medal after. He beat in the amateur Andy Ruiz, he fought uh, Gladzov, he fought, he fought a lot of fighters that had their chance already in the World Championship a fight, um, and Oscar didn't have yet that opportunity. But uh, he um, is probably the best athlete Uh, in the heavyweight division, he has uh, uh, he always always got himself up for the challenge, uh, and I believe he can be world champion. I believe the the winner of that fight here on July 20th will have the best shot for to become world champion, and I and I I'm convinced Oscar Rivas will still be undefeated. Mm-hmm. See. Eh, esto es una pelea que hace mucho tiempo estaba esperando y ahora se, se dio esta oportunidad, tengo que aprovechar al máximo y seguir demostrando por qué estoy, eh, eh, por qué estoy aquí, por qué vine hasta acá a, a, a mostrarme de cara al mundo. Right, very much so. It is the fight that I've been working towards and waiting for for such a long time. And what I've got to do, now I've got this chance, I've got to make the best possible use of it, make the most of this opportunity. So that's what we're here for now, to, to show what I can do and demonstrate just what I'm capable of. Bueno, contra Jennings fue una pelea que me preparé muy bien eh, porque quería, quería ganar esa pelea. Eh, con Dylan White, eh, también un boxeador que respeto mucho, un boxeador que lo he venido siguiendo porque en mi... <coughs> En mi carrera tengo que estar preparado para todo, pero cada quien hace su mejor, su mejor trabajo en el ring y espero que esta vez no sea la excepción y a seguir trabajando duro para que el 20 de julio eh, dar un buen espectáculo, espectáculo los dos. So yeah, I prepared really, really well for the um, for the Jennings fight um, and also. Um, I want to put on a very, very good show on the 20th of July. I hope that it's a real, a real excellent spectacle, a real show. I think that Dillian is a, is a boxer that I respect a lot. I've got an awful lot of respect for him. Um, I prepared well for my previous fights. I'm going to come here and prepare really, really well. And I think both of us will be doing our, our best in what's going to be a close run affair. <laughs> Fighting the front three lads. 
fight and um, I've been after it for years you know I wanted it three years ago David Price three years ago would have knocked me out I can see that now um, I matured a lot as a person obviously there's a video out yesterday me talking about David three years ago I couldn't watch it back because I knew what I was saying um, you know I respect him I was a fan of Lucas Brown I, and I'm a, I was a, I guess I saw him a fan of David Price when he fights you know um, before I even laced a pair of gloves he was already an Olympian he was already the, the next big thing on the scene I've not even had an amateur fight by this point so I know for well it's a difficult fight. People can say what they want about David Price, um, but you know, as boxers, we know how dangerous he is. I know he can punch. I know he can box. He's technically better than me. He's bigger than me. He punches harder than me. He's stronger than me. He's faster than me. So on paper, you're thinking, "How am I going to beat him?" But I will beat him on sheer um, wanting to win. You know, now I'm fit. Darren will put the game plan together. Um, I will beat him on sheer determination. That's how I will beat him. I know it's going to go. I'll just. I was just breaking down, I believe. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's <laughs> been an interesting week, but it's my week to enjoy it, do what I want with, you know, and now we're back in the gym. Um, you know, I beat David Price, like you say, I'm up there with the top 15, top 10 in the world, and um, I've got I got to where I am today by not really doing anything, just naturally just got in there and, you know, fought, I think, fought Luis Ortiz, Tony Oka. Natural toughness got me through 27 rounds, and three, I've not even trained I've trained more for them than the other two, but combined probably five weeks, combined for the three of them. Um, so when I take it seriously, I believe I can be a top 10, 15 man. I'm not saying I'm the greatest fighter in the world, I'm not, I'm not very big. I don't punch very hard. I'm not the fastest, not the most skillful, but I think on determination alone... Other than that, you've got it all really, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> on determination alone and wanting to win, I think I'm a very hard man to beat, you know, and um, this is a fight I'm very excited about, it's one I've wanted for years. As a fan of David Price, I look at him today, and I, you know, and, and I think, wow, it's David Price because that's how I've always I've always looked at him and other fighters the same way. So yeah, I'm excited. I will train very hard because I'm a little bit scared as well. I don't want to get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> how refreshingly honest is Dave <laughs> Allen? Yeah, I think it was supposed to happen at some point a couple of years ago, and it didn't happen for whatever reason. But I think it's it's more worthy of happening now at this stage, with much more on the line. I think. I think Dave Allen underplays himself a little bit. I think he, he knows he's better than he's making out, and, and he is a lot better than he's making out. I was open to get Lucas Brown rather than Dave Allen. I, I was willing Lucas Brown to win because for me, that was that was a, a better fight for me, I thought. But here we are, it's Dave Allen. It's a great fight. You know, he, he's as tough as he come. Better boxer than he's given credit for and probably gives himself credit for. He's, he's actual favour in the fight, you know, he's, he's won his last four fights and he's just beat a, beat a big name in his last fight, so I've kind of got the, the underdog tag, which, which I'm happy to take because I think I'm due a win when I'm the underdog. I've been the underdog twice before, hopefully it's third time lucky. Um, and I'm just going to try my best to, to, to do what people, and I, and I think is probably difficult to do and, and knock Dave Allen out. He's been stopped on his feet. He's probably one of them fighters who go, could go through his whole career without, you know, getting getting put on the floor. But that's what I'm going to be looking to do. I, think, I don't know. I don't know whether he really believes that. He, look, he, you, you don't do what you've done, Dave, without having something about you. You know, and you've definitely got something about you. I'm better looking than you, though. I'll tell you. Don't know about that. Don't you find me attractive? <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, he's got. He's definitely got something about him. But, but look, it, all, all will be revealed on the night. That that's the beauty of this fight. And. Barry Ayn said enough then for, for anyone to, to make you one up and go, go go for the run now and start training for the fight that how much is on the line for it. You know, it's the biggest fight in my career by far. Um, so I need to do everything I can possible to make sure that I, I get my hand raised on the night and, and move on to, to watch it around the corner. So I, I'll just give it everything I've got. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.